Welcome to Golden Mountain, Golden Meadow. In the previous reading, I have got some complaints from from the from the from the audience for not reading the comments. I think I should be reading some comments if there is any. This time, because I'm going to read the another lesson, it's uh, Unit Three. But just after Unit Three, I'm going to go for Unit Four. So in unit four, we have reporting commands. So re still we are learning reporting, reporting and reporting and reporting. So it's quite related to journalism. Our direct speech, indirect speech is what we learned in all the, all the classes. Well, let me read out some of the comments if there is any, because there were some, some kind of you know, complaints from the audience. Sulap Supratik, Yosa, what is Yosa? Pointing two fingers at once, yo, sir. Okay, so I'll be going for grade 10, unit 4 reporting commands. And then I'll come back to read uh, some com some kind of comments in middle in a, in the middle of the section. Now, let's uh, get into our own book. It says, reading section, engage yourself. First, look at the pictures below. These are very popular tourist destinations in Nepal. Do you know what they are famous for? That's a simple question that I ask. So you have several pictures given over here. You just have to identify these pictures. They're very, very attractive places of our country. They're very beautiful, though it's black and white in your textbook. Well, in the section B of uh, reading itself, we have study time. Read the following excerpt from Memoirs of My Visit to France, written by Gobinda Raj Bhattra, and look at the following information. First, names of the plants mentioned in the me memoirs. Second, names of the museums the author visited. Third, names of the places the author visited in France. Fourth, Lansing Bang Bangdel's literary works. So these are some of the questions that are kept in the second. But now we'll head into the center part of our reading section, the memoirs, memoirs of my visit to France. Before that, let me deal with some of the comments if it is there. Sulav says, monetized? Not at all. That's uh, specially dedicated for the students for teaching learning activities. And on top of that, I'm helping out some of the students who are feeling lazy to read the books. I'm reading for them online so that they can stay on, on their gadgets and still they can watch me reading it reading your text probably i'll be commenting some moreover you'd be um, tempted towards the reading so title says memoirs of my visit to france this morning the city of paris looks slightly fuming the sky is overcast and it is drizzling too but it does no harm to me i have decided to go out for a visit or an observation tour I had asked Nirmal Bhai for a list of museums in the vicinity of Paris yesterday. He brought me some brochures with the names and addresses and street maps of Paris museums in the evening. Paris has more museums than temples and gods in Kathmandu, he says. I'm new to Paris, staying here for only one week. Hope these maps and brochures will show me Paris metro zones and guide me to some museums today. Last week, Nirmal Bhai showed me Pompidou Center, a complex building of high-tech structure. This visit has emboldened me to explore further. This is the first paragraph. Moving into second, I guess I can cover a maximum of two museums today. It means just giving a cursory glance. This is my plan. They say Cizan is quite far away. Paul Cizan, the most impressionist painter, may be in the outskirts. I cannot visit him all alone and cannot cover two museums in a day. So I, choo I chose to visit a museum nearby in the heart of the city. Likewise, Brack or Brake is far. Duchamp is farther away. So I have decided as per Nirmal's suggestions. To start with Rodin's, Rodin's, maybe I will go to Monet's next. Going to the third paragraph, people know I am never a painter, nor a sculptor, nor a connoisseur of art. 
or professional, but then the world knows that my interest in the lives of great artists and their lasting works is growing deeper. So whenever I go, I prefer to visit my uh, art museums, art museums, first of all. In Russia, in Greece, in England, in America, I did so. I moved merely a dilettante. However, uh, with a deep sense of awe and reverence, I have no words to express how I felt upon seeing Mona Lisa in Lovo yesterday. I must say why my interest in this is growing gradually in this way. Two decades ago, I was entrusted as an academy project titled Introduction to the Literary Trends and Movements, in which I had to present a glimpse of literary trends and movements of the world. Most literary movements developed from the Western movements of art and philosophy. They are entrenched formally. Therefore, I studied and wrote briefly on new trends of art, such as Impressionism. Impressionism, Expressionism, Symbolism, Cubism, Dadaism, Surrealism, and uh, the relationship with literature. So many ism isms. I had used say, a secondary source to write about them. Later on, I revisited the modern tale of London to write on postmodernism. Oh, so many literary uh, history and moments of Western literature philosophy and arts. Okay, now moving on to the next paragraph. Most new thoughts originated in France. Most of them came to literature through art. They went to other literatures from France. Later on, when I studied the great works of Linsing Bangdels, Linsing Bangdels, his memoirs and travels and journals, I was moved. Everybody will be moved to read him. His Muluk Bahiramo. Muluk Bahiramo, a magnum opus. Have you read this or his Spenko Samjana? Spenko Samjana? Or his Ramko Kanda Rapiarisko Ful? Huh? Romko Kanda Rapiarisko Ful. Piarisko Ful. As Paris is Piarisko Ful. All right. He spent 12 years in Paris and uh, Paris and studied fine arts in those difficult days. He had to spend 42 days traveling by sea from Calcutta to London. Every young heart will be moved to read those great love letters. Love letters? Obviously, everybody will be moved with the love letters. Exchange between Bangdale and his beloved Mamu. Manu, 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 how do you pronounce Muluk Bairamo presents 50, no, 500 pages of a rare collection of love letters exchanged between Lensing and his concert. There is wisdom, experience, hope, and sadness. His desire for great art and great literature is indomitable. I, didn't, I don't recommend any other book to an avid reader like you more than uh, this Muluk Bairamo. This book pr proves that he had gained an incomparable height and success in Nepali art. Mostly it is a form of a daily diary on his regular entry of 17th of August 1952, one year before I was born, he wrote these lines from Paris. Okay, before reading, uh, reading these lines, let me check if there are some of the comments from the audience. Yeah, we have uh, we have Sulav alone. Sulav, can you do something transcendent, exquisite, gratifying? Sir, your English is to easy. Kinaho. All right, that's very interesting to go with this one. English is always easier for the one who understands, who knows. Otherwise, it is like Kalo Charbongsi whatever. If you go to the villages, they want their um their 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 languages to be improved, and they want their languages. Uh, especially English language, to go to British Army. You know, they, they want to earn a lot. The British Army pays them a lot. So they want to get selected. And mostly they fell in English language. Most of the villagers, they fell in English language. And there has been a chronic problem for everyone. So I don't see anybody giving me other comments. Oh. 
daughter lab padhaunu baru at that time was bo actually this is specially designed for all the sons and daughters of the world who's appearing as the examination including you sula well, my daughter is quite busy in the, her own 10 plus 2 so she'd be doing her own by her, herself and she is self reliant according to her she's self dependent ha 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 okay very good we'll go forward with the reading I visited Musi the Art Moderni Museum of Modern Art today. I had an opportunity to look at the paintings of all the artists of France, living and dead together. The paintings of Braque and Picasso moved me exceedingly. I came across many artists who have imitated the form of Georges Seurat and styles of Cézanne and Gauguin. Gauguin. Okay, there are so many names of these painters and the artists as well. Moving into next paragraph, but I could not see here the paintings of Gauguin's, Van Gogh, Cézanne, Renier. Probably they are upstairs. I will come some other day. Page one forty-five. One hundred forty-five. Nirmal Bai had described my way to. Two mediums, Rodin's, Rodin's, and Monet's. I set out all alone for the first time in the mega mega city of Paris. I had to enter the metro station deep down below, buy tickets from the vending machine. Nobody will speak English to me if I got lost. Perhaps because they speak French, but for me everything is so strange and unknown. I must have spent innumerable days and nights in learning French. since slc we had a map of france we had history of france the french revolution napoleon bonaparte bonaparte first and second world wars the existentialists it's an endless story lensing's writing produces a living france even bp koyala has detailed his brief journey of france in his book hitler and the jews i have known great people and the land and feel the french people too must know me but when i think deeply i know every everybody knows me i am alone and i wonder about the consequences if i take the wrong line then i mustered up the courage to travel along the on the ground tubes on alone nirmal had bought me tickets and sown roots I entered the underground world near Paris North Station and traveled for about 30 minutes. It was claustrophobic, very horrific. The crowd was so huge and shifting all the time. At last I got out of the tube near Ven- Venom Vernon. Then I ascended to the surface of the earth as if from nowhere by climbing the escalator. I reached a broad street where vehicles were plying swiftly. I came to a different air and open space and I no more felt suffocated. I didn't know which direction I was supposed to follow. So I asked the passerby, "Excuse me, can you show me the way to Musi Rodin, please?" He did not speak, just pointed towards the direction with his white fingers. Perhaps he was telling me the direction without any words. Most friends like the Chinese, they say, do not like to speak in English, though they know it or love to speak in other mother tongue, in their mother tongue. He spoke in French politely, of course. I could only guess what he said. I thanked him, though he had gone a bit further ahead, and I continued my pace. This morning in damp and the road uh, this morning is damp and the road is wet the sky is overcast i walked on with an umbrella on my head the road is broad its sidewalks lonely and dis- desolate these are shaded by tall trees like poplars there is some maples to the leaves of maple and different exotic trees along the Boliard sign yellow like a flower. They keep falling all the time in early autumn. Soft paper like dry leaves have met the street. A carpet of different colors. Some were swept by rainwater, waiting to be swept in the ma- manholes. 
Having walked for about five minutes, I again asked the slim lady walking towards me, tick tocking her pointed soles. Excuse me, how far may be Musi Rodin, please? She also pointed towards the same direction and moved ahead. She spoke no words. There are people, but they don't know me. Neither do I expect to know any of them. A total stranger, a bit scared. I was walking and I felt a bit lonely and helpless. After a hundred steps, I came to sharp bend like a dead end, and across this stood a yellowish cream colored building. At the entrance of his, I could read Musi Rodin. At this point, let me take some of the some of the students saying hello, 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 Ranger Salty. Uh -huh. Halka black wall barima sunam. <laughs> nice joke. Stephen Hawking will tell you all about black holes and white holes, how the water drains in the in the basin, like the water drifts down in the basin holes that succumbs water, so it's like black holes, all the water is entering, all the water. It, it's uh, entering inside the holes like black holes being consumed. And the other theory is that if it is being consumed, it's going to, it's going to, you know, throw it somewhere. So from one part, from one part of the universe, it's succumbing, it's pulling it, and it's throwing it to the other side. And no, uh, I, and it's not known whether it, there'll be systematic, systematic formation of another, another universe, another Milky Way, or something like that. Hello, Rosa Santi. Hmm? Humanity students, you know, humanities, English language, computer language, social studies, EPS, health, everything I've studied in my junior classes. Yes, you love Supratik, you feel like you want to talk to me for a while. Since we are having less time as well as a number of less viewers, you can uh, you can tune in anytime because it will be lo loaded in the in the YouTube as usual once it is done. So I'll be continuing the reading part. So I could read Musi Rodin, the author said. I entered the building and as instructed uh, by the curator, I bought a ticket and hired a special hand machine that will play the recorded voice to explain to me everything in English. As I passed the administrating building, I came across a beautiful garden. It was full of pointed steps of uh, fir and pine trees, giving the best proof of French topiary. Far away stood other trees like walnut, juniper, and yard. Birds chirped, chirruped from the top. Among the top your yards to the huge black bust, on top of his lay a drooping figure of Rabin, Rudin, Rudin. Not Rudin himself, but a magnificent sculpture of him. It is commonly known as Rudin's thinking man. Thinking man. The thinking man squatted on a large and tall marble slab in half bent posture and pensive mood. Pensive mood. This is one of the masterpieces in modern art. An incomparable work, Rudin's pensive mood is remarkable. Three years ago, I had visited a smaller museum in Baltimore. Seva had joined me from Illinois. I remember this, Illinois. In that very small museum, Rudin's copy too was quite small. Rudin's little thinker in Baltimore was a black metal work, just a replica. I remember writing an article which reminds us of our visit to Baltimore and Van, Van Gogh's irises. It got published in Antardiristi, Antardiristi, I think it's Antardiristi, it's edited by Jyoti Gimire of the USA. Since I heard of the name of Rodin as one of the greatest sculptors of the 20th century, I had always desired to see him, see him, that is, his work or his museum. The brochure distributed at the metro station suggests, suggests 
If you are going to spend four days in Paris, please visit Road in Museum on the very first day. Enter the sculpture garden premises and go close to the thinker and feel or experience the weight of the pensive mood he wore, he has. On that note, it was dazzling. I tried to feel the pensive mood Rodin sculpted in his immortal art. At that moment, my mood also turned like his. So that comes to the end of our passage, and we have some questions followed by that vocabulary in use. Read the text again, describe the following words in the example like interest. The example interest, the meaning is given only in the text. Most literary moments develop from the Western movement of the art and philosophy. They are interest firmly. Now, what is the meaning of the word in the context to establish? something very firmly so that it is very difficult to change. B number, what is the word, class of the world, verb? Number C, how do you pronounce the word? I-N-T-R-E-N-T, -E some, that's interest. Number D, is there any suffix or prefix in the word? If yes, what does it mean? Yes, prefix with ed, it indicates past tense. Fuming, overcast, drizzling, vicinity, emboldened, cursory, connoisseur, sculptor, dilent, tanty, or reverence, magnum opus, exceedingly imitated, innumerable. Now the set of questions that we have are lots of words together, vocabulary development. Read the table below and group the related words from the right column into synonyms and antonyms. Write any not applicable if the list does not include antonym. Mustard is the main word. On the right side related words, gather, dismiss, scattered. Consequences is the main word. And on the right side related words is result, output, effect. Main word is accent. The right side related words we have is mounted up, declined, descended. On the left side, magnificent. On the right side, splendid, glorious, outstanding. On the left, main words, replica. On the right, related words, copy, original, duplicate. On the main words, swiftly. On the right side, related words, fast, quickly, undyingly. On the left side, main word we have suffocated on the right side main uh, related words we have crowded congested open on the left side we have pensive on the right side you have serious sober thoughtful on the left side we have remarkable on the right side related words noticeable general impresses they are the words that are given in the table now we go to the third section now prepare a list of unfamiliar words from the text and find their meanings in the dictionary it's like it's like finding a word and meaning. So that's it for today. I think I took a long time. I'll be continuing next day for now. Good day. Goodbye. Take care. Good night as well. Any any person is saying anything? No one. So bye-bye, everyone. Take care.